Hello everyone! Have you ever wanted to make your own video tutorials? On this video I'm going to explain the steps to do it. What do we need for this? Some software to record our screen. An audio recorder if we want to include spoken explanations. Some software to edit our videos and export the final version ready for YouTube. The software you are making the tutorial about. In my case, it's Clip Studio Paint, an art software. Isn't all that expensive? Not really. There are professional tools you can pay for, but there are also many free or very cheap options out there, especially if you are just starting. Let's begin! The first thing we need to do is to decide on a topic for our video tutorial. For example, painting an anime character on Clip Studio Paint. Once you have decided on the topic, write down the main steps you are going to follow, so that you know what you need to record and in what order. For example, Step 1. Inking Step 2. Base color Step 3. Shading, etc. We don't need to write down a detailed script yet, we can do that later. We will need some software to record our screen. I use Flashback Express 5 Recorder, which is free if you only want to record without editing. There are more free options out there, like OBS Studio. When recording, try to make your video some size that is proportional to 1280 by 720, which is a YouTube standard. However, if you don't get a perfectly proportional size, it's no big deal. Most likely, you'll just get some black frames around your video later. Normally, I record my screen at 2560 by 1400, which is not proportional to 1280 by 720. The reason is that I only want to record the software I'm working on and not the taskbar. Select the area you want to record, my Clip Studio Paint window in my case, click to start recording and start working on everything you wrote down on step 1. Don't worry if there is some mistakes or if you are doing it too slowly, we are going to edit the video later so that it looks perfect. Try to record each step of your tutorial on separate files so that they are smaller. For example, I will create one video for the line art, a separate video for the base color, etc. If possible, export each video as MPEG-4, which is compatible with most video editors. We have our videos. Now we can rewatch them carefully and write down everything we want to explain about what we are doing. The script is exactly what I will say or have shown as subtitles during the final video. In case you go for the voiceover option instead of subtitles, you can record your voice with a free software, like Audacity or even your phone's voice notes. If you go for Audacity, all you have to do is to click on the record button to start recording your voice and click on the stop button after you are done. You can remove parts of the audio just by selecting them with your mouse if you want to record some phrase over again. If possible, I export my audio file as a single WAV file. I will cut it into parts later. I have my video files, I have my audio files, it's time to put everything together. There are some free softwares out there to do this, like DaVinci Resolve. The one I'm using is Wondershare Filmora X, which is not free but it's not too expensive either. In any case, most softwares should be able to do the basics, so don't worry too much about which one to choose. Most video editors work with a timeline 
where you start adding your images, videos and audio files. The first thing we need to add to the timeline is some sort of introduction. It can be an image with the video title or something related to our channel that we want our viewers to recognize us for. Some video with our logo, an image with a specific music, etc. However you start your video, just make sure it's short. If your introduction is too long, some viewers might move on to something else. Remember, they are here for the content, not the brand. Let's start our tutorial with a brief summary of what we are going to cover, so that people get a general idea. If you show examples of the results they'll get after watching your video, you'll be able to build their interest in learning your technique. After the summary, we add all the steps we recorded in order. We can separate each step with a header so that the tutorial is easier to follow. We can add our audio files to the timeline now. Cut it into pieces whenever you want the audio to stop and resume some time later and move each piece around until it fits with the image you're showing. The end of the video is a good place for credits, social media, etc. To make our videos look more professional, there are some effects we can add. Some parts of our tutorial will need the viewer's close attention to be understood properly, but most parts should be speeded up if we want concise tutorial that's not too tedious to follow. For example, if I'm going to show people how I ink my anime character, it's pointless to have them watch it at real speed. Just remember, beautiful does not equal useful. When you want your viewers to focus on a specific part of the screen, zooming in helps you bring their attention there and it also makes your videos more dynamic. An excessive use of this feature might cause your viewers to feel dizzy and lose focus, so make sure not to overdo it. Most video editors have the basic transition effects and some more. The basic transitions include Fade into black, which gives a final feel so it's normally used between the end of a step and the beginning of another, or at the end of the video. And Dissolve, which gives a more continuous feel, so it can be used between scenes of the same step. You can add extra layers of images to the timeline, such as arrows, screenshots, etc. Just import your image in PNG with a blank background and place it on some top layer on the timeline. You can add little sounds to your timeline here and there to create different effects. If your editing software doesn't come with any, you can download some royalty-free sounds from different sites, like Zapsplat. Just remember to credit them at the end of your video. Once you are done with everything, it's time to export our video. I recorded mine at 2560 by 1400, but I always export my videos at 1920 by 1080. The higher the resolution, the less blurry it will look, but the file will also be heavier and harder to watch for many people. To give the choice for best quality is up to you and how powerful your computer is to render such a video. It's time to share our creation with the world. The steps are very easy. Log into your YouTube account and click on the little camera icon at the top right corner to upload your video. Give your video a descriptive title, make it attractive. For example, instead of just how to paint an anime character, I could call my video how to paint an anime character in three easy steps. 
That's giving my viewers two pieces of information. They are going to learn how to paint an anime character, and it's going to be easy. Write anything you like on the description of the video. A summary of what people will learn, links to resources, your own social media, credits, etc. Upload a custom thumbnail. By default, YouTube will generate three possible thumbnails from screenshots of your video, but it's recommended that you create your own. Use big letters on the thumbnail and make the image eye-catching to catch your viewer's attention on any search results. Keywords Keywords are what will help people find your video on any search. Add as many keywords as you can think that relate to your video. In my case, I could include tutorial, art, anime, digital art tutorial, etc. Choose when to publish your video. You can make it available for everyone immediately, program it for later, or make it private. If you publish it immediately, great, now everybody can watch it. If you program it for some other day or hour, you can check your audience statistics on YouTube Studio to see what's the best time to upload your video. Though this information will only be available if this is not the first video you upload. And that's it! I hope these tips will help you share your own knowledge with the world. Have fun creating! Bye-bye!